Hello and welcome to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. Scientists found a lost world in Australia via an expedition. Life is cool, man. Speaking of life, these science kids also found three species, but new species are found all the time, and usually they're bugs, and we're all just like, well, that's kind of boring. But these were actual spine-having creatures. Would you uh, like more details? Would you like maybe some pictures? Perhaps you've come to the right place. No, you have, for sure. Conrad Hoskin from James Cook University jumped out of a helicopter along with the National Geographic film crew and started hacking their way through the Cape Melville mountain range. What did they find? Super intelligent gorillas with actual, with laser beams. That's not true. They found living dinosaurs, actual tiny dinosaurs, not really. Coupons. They found coupons for Subway. <laughs> I wish. Those buy one get one free deals are amazing. What they actually found was a crazy looking leaf tailed gecko. I personally uh, think it's offensive to define this creature's identity solely by its leaf tail. It probably has a great personality, but we'll never know, will we? But apparently this gecko was so unique looking that Hoskin knew immediately that it was a brand new species. They also found a gold colored skink. They also found a uh, new type of frog, which is pretty cool. And none of these beauties had ever been seen before. Hoskins stated, The top of Cape Melville is a lost world. Finding these new species up there is a discovery of a lifetime. I'm still amazed and buzzing from it. Finding three new, obviously distinct vertebrates would be surprising enough in somewhere poorly explored, like New Guinea, let alone in Australia, a country we think we've explored pretty well. So that's cool, and add to that, the Nat Geo photographer who joined Hoskin on the expedition, stating, What's really exciting about this expedition is that in a place like Australia, which people think is fairly well explored, there are still places is like Cape Melville, where there are all these species to discover. Because this place was considered virtually unreachable. There were boulders everywhere that were the sizes of houses, and the place was generally unexplored. Guys, if you could explore anywhere, real or fictitious, where would it be? For me, personally, it would probably be the land where uh, Link lives, Hyrule, and all of the, you know, uh, surrounding kingdoms. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Also, while you're down there letting me know your thoughts in the comments, please hit the like button. It helps us out a lot and you can subscribe to the channel. Click this annotation for our five daily stories as well as other cool new stuff. Also, in case you haven't seen already, my poster was released today. You can find it over at fourhumanpeoples.com. You can pick up an unsigned or a sign and adorn your walls with it. My name is Ellie Morgan and I want to thank you guys for watching this video and encourage you to read about science because it's a lot of fun and the story was really cool. Bye. Mwah.